Hi kids, uh, this is Mr. Barr coming to you from my garage, which is a place where I kind of like to social distance away from my wife and from the dogs. It's kind of like my man cave. Um, so this time not being at school, it's, it's given me a chance to spend more time with my family, not just my wife, but also uh, my in-laws and my also my nephew. Um, most of you know that I don't have children of my own, um, which over the years I've come to think of uh, students, both kids that I've taught, you know, 12, 14 years ago, and also students I teach now, kind of like extended members of my family. Um, I've taught kids who are teachers now themselves, which is super cool. And it's one of the most rewarding parts of being a teacher is to see all of you grow up and uh, go on to lead your best life. So uh, I've gotten to experience some of that joy though, even though I don't have my own kids. Uh, here, I'll show you some pictures. I have a nephew. So this is him and I, us drawing. Uh, here he is. My wife captured a cute picture of us um, where he's showing affection to me, which it's fun. I really like hanging out with him. Uh, so all this stuff, you know, when you have a lot of time, you, your mind starts to wander and you start to think. Um, so I wanna share a poem with you. It's a poem that I actually have read in high school uh, and it's kind of always just stuck with me. Uh, the n name of the poem is A Psalm of Life. And I've always really liked this poem because of how passionate uh, the speaker uh, in the poem is about life. Um, in the poem, the poet has a message um, that you have to live your life, um, that you have to be a hero in difficult, difficult times, that um, you gotta let things go. Uh, and throughout it uses a bunch of exclamation marks to show exactly how passionate he is. Um, it ends with an image that I really, I like and I want us to think about and we'll talk, I'll talk a little bit more about it, uh, that you gotta leave footprints in the sands of time. Uh, it's an interesting metaphor that, I, that we'll think about um, to help a quote, forlorn and shipwrecked brother. So that you're supposed to picture someone who uh, is on a ship and stranded and lost and don't know what to do next, to take heart again. Um, so I'm gonna read the poem to you and um, we'll, we'll go through it together. The title of the poem is uh, Psalm of Life. Let me see if I can flip this. Uh, I guess I can't. Okay, 